What's up, y'all? We're about to open up this box from Tough Built. There's some sick stuff in here, so I'm super excited to show you guys this. And if you guys stick around to the end, there's a surprise, some unreleased stuff that I'll give you a little hint about, tell you guys some more about that. So stick around to the end and let me know if you guys have used anything from Tough Build and what you've used and if there's anything that I should use that I haven't yet. So let's go ahead and hop into it. This is the box. This thing is full of goodies, so I'm super excited to show you guys. First and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up this knife, this Hawk Bill knife here, because for one, I love it. It's incredible. Uh, it looks super cool, and I'm, I wanna see what it looks like. But then we can also use the Tough Bill knife to open the Tough Bill tools. It just makes sense, right? It goes together. So we'll go ahead and slice this thing open. It's the worst fillet ever. Boom. All right. Packaging, tough build. Tough build packaging, that's for sure. So this is their Hawk build knife. It's a pretty cool little design here. So it's got a piece here for your thumb that you can push it open with, um, just like so. Or it's got this little tail here that you can pull down that unlocks. I am not very skilled at this. This is first go, so uh, obviously you might need to put a little bit of pressure on there, but... It opens up super nicely. Uh, this is a very nice composite. This black here is a very nice composite. It feels really sturdy. It's got the clip on this backside. It's not ambidextrous. You can't move it, but it's a solid clip. They, it's the, the clip is actually metal. There is quite a bit of distance there um, underneath, so you have plenty of room to play with that. And it flicks open nicely. It's not super curved, which I like that it's curved though, especially for stripping wires, getting up underneath stuff. Um, the closing action, it's got the little groove in here that you push over with your thumb to close it. That's nice, especially for gloves. Um, some of the uh, other knives that I've used have a really, you have a hard time, I have a hard time getting them closed, but this is, it feels good. It feels really light. The handle's very large. It's got quite a bit of handle. It's not a very small knife. It's got a really big groove here, the thumb pad the the thing you use to flick it open with the thumb uh, is on this side so there's quite a bit so you don't have to worry about your hand slipping you accidentally cutting yourself nobody wants that definitely not me this knife yeah it looks it's solid i gotta say it's a good knife we'll go ahead and go through some of this other stuff these babies here these are their 12 inch they're called v jaw pliers um, i was really interested in these they've got the uh different style of lip than the traditional channel locks. They're not flat. These are great for gripping pipe. So I'm really excited to see just how wonderful these babies are. Go ahead and open this. Getting way better with the knife, the knife flick. So these are the 12 inch pair. I have to say these, this is a rubber. Um, these handles are really large and they're very separate. That is one thing that I'm not a huge fan of, okay? But I think I'm also used to the Cobra style of plier and that handles are really close together, uh, which is nice. I'm very curious to see just how good these grip. Um, the teeth look fantastic on these. They're much more aggressive because they're actually directional, um, which is cool. That means that you can only go down. You can't really go backwards. They don't grip the same but they make the teeth a lot more aggressive and it's because of the style of uh, the plier and the hole that's in there. Now, my favorite portion of these is that this it's the push button. I Adjustable pliers are okay, but I have to say that the push button really stands above because you can set it and forget it. Like you, it's gonna be the same size, so when you're running pipe, when you're doing things like that, you don't have to keep changing the size of your pliers. Um, and they don't just like slip out on you. And these are a lot closer together when they're down here. That is uh, a thing that I like about these. It's got all these different settings so you can have the perfect setting. Those are all teeth in there and they all obviously lead to it being open to a different size. These are also a thinner head than what you would see on a traditional channel lock. They're considered pump pliers, but I don't know about you guys, where I'm from, everybody calls this style of plier channel lock. It's an adjustable plier. It's they're for pipe and that type of stuff. But I actually like to use this style of plier to ream out my pipe. Uh, so when I, after I cut it, you score it backwards. 
because the teeth are directional and then you close them and you can put this side on the inside and deburr it from the inside. Cool little set. The handles are, like I said, they're a little bit large, but they are rubber, they're comfortable. Um, and I, I like this style of plier so much better than I like the traditional flat jawed set of channel locks. Next, we'll go ahead and take a look at this uh, high tension hacksaw. This is a pretty cool little deal here. It's actually got two different mounts to it. So um, on the bottom and on the top here, it's actually got a 45 degree uh, angle and a 90 degrees. It's obviously the 90 is just the straight on, but when you have the 45, it means you can cut down from here like this with an angle that's actually the other side. It just makes it easier for tights to fit in tight spots and do stuff like that. Um, so pretty cool. You get to just rip the package off too, which is nice. Um, the blade comes upside down so you don't cut everything and your mother because uh, nobody wants that. Yeah, it's got uh, a rubber on this black part here in the back. Then uh, obviously you've got the, the angle of the handle, all of this fun stuff. This is metal right here in the middle. And then this is, our, it's a plastic. Um, it's not the rubber, the soft rubber, but super ergonomic, super well made, definitely tough built. They just make very innovative tools. And that's what I love about them and their products, especially recently here, they're just, Phenomenal. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at this demo driver here. We'll go ahead and open this up. It's got the striking cap on the back here, uh, which is cool. It's the whole size of the back there and it's flat up top. It's got a very hefty square shaft, which is nice, especially if you wanna put torque on it for this really large flat head up here. But obviously it's not gonna fit screws as well. It's definitely, it's a demo driver. It's got a flat side on this side here and this side is more of an angled. Uh, it's it's a lot less of a, of a flat head. You can use it however you like to, but definitely a demo driver. You can use it as a pry bar. You can use it as whatever you'd like to use it as, as long as you're beating on this thing and putting it to good use. The handle's ergonomic. It's their rubber, the, the black, it's, it's a really good size. It's not very large. It's not very small. It fits my hand very well. It's very, very ergonomic. Um, and yeah, I like their screwdrivers. I like the way that they uh, fit and I like the texture that they use because it's soft, but it's also got some grip to it. So it's not something that's got to slip out of your hands. It's just comfortable, feels good, that matters. All right, next we've got this digital level here. This thing is something I've been really excited to get my hands on for a while, but you can put it on your pipe. You can put it on whatever you want and it'll actually tell you the angle. There's no guessing, there's no bubble. It's right on the money. I think a Hawkbill knife is my new favorite way to open any packages because it's been it's been pretty pretty nice. I like it better than the utility knife, I think. I think I know I do. Actually, that's a lie. It's way better. It says it comes with batteries, so I'm assuming it's in this little package here. It comes with a case that can go on your belt or go on whatever. So we'll open that up. Yep. Triple A batteries, two of them. So we'll go ahead and put these in because I'd like to see it. Okay, you guys know how batteries work. They go in the back here. Not gonna bore you with that. We're just gonna get them in there. We're gonna see what's what. Pro tip, put them in the right way. It's helpful. And if you noticed the lighting change, it's because I had to go get some food. I was so hungry. So I went and made a little steak thing. And now we're back and it's a little bit later. Like two hours probably, Mike. All right. I'm gonna press it. And now it's off. You can zero it, you can change the modes, you can turn it off, obviously. Um, but it just makes for a great little digital level and that way you don't have to guess. And especially if you have very strange angles, you can actually measure it and see what it's reading. Uh, right now, we're at 39.75. And so pretty cool. Uh, I like the display. It's pretty easy to see. Obviously I'm a little bit shakier than most of the pipes should be, um, but I really like this a lot. I'm excited to get this in the field and use it. It's got a magnet on the bottom. We'll see. It's pretty strong. It's also impact resistant and dust and water resistant. These magnets are pretty strong, pretty sturdy. This is not an even 
base right here. So pretty cool to uh, see that. And then AAA batteries. I like AAA batteries because I take them everywhere all the time for my multimeter. So pretty cool. I like this setup here. Can't forget about the case, by the way. It comes with instructions in there. I have not looked at them yet. And I don't know if I will. I'm not a big instructions guy. Uh, very similarly though, we have this pocket level. It's a 360 degree pocket level. Um, and basically you can set the degree. So it is it is a bubble level and you can tell and see just what you're looking at here. We'll go ahead and open this baby up. I like the size of these as well. They are not so incredibly small. I like that, um, which gives you a little bit more room, but they're not massive because they're also special use levels. Now the magnets are on the bottom here and it's also got a groove, so did that last one. So there's this little dial over here and you can turn it and it turns the degrees. It's got a little uh, little grip for your thumb so you can actually use it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And then it's got the arrow over here. It's super, it's, it's, uh, it's all metal. I really like the way this looks a lot. They are pretty strong, but you can set that so you can custom make it. It's also, this way you don't have to use batteries if you don't like to. Like I said, I always keep spare batteries, especially AAA batteries because of my meter, but I really, really like the way that they have this set up. Pretty tough build, you know? Definitely, definitely more than tough build. Pretty cool setup. You can go literally whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, all of it. On the same level, we've got a, a nine inch magnetic lit box level. So we'll go ahead and check this baby out. I did not know it lit. So if you press it once, the this dial over here lights up. And if you press it twice, this dial over here lights up, which is pretty cool. Uh, looks like the battery slot for it is just back here. It's just two, looks like uh, number one or number two Phillips. I'm not seeing what it says, but I'm sure that these tank AAA batteries uh, it looks like a slot that's built for two AAA batteries, but I like that a lot. Uh, the bubbles are very big. I actually like these bubbles a lot. They're also super covered, I'm sure, because there's the light that gets pushed through them uh, on the outside, but I really like the bubbles a lot. They're a little bit thicker than what you usually see. The little buttons right here, it is magnetic. So we'll go ahead and it's pretty sturdy. Uh, it looks like there's only the two magnets in the middle here. I don't love that, but I guess you can always transfer sides and stuff, do what you need to. It's also a box level, so it's not like you're gonna be running a ton of pipe with this, but it is nine inches, so you have enough length that you can be accurate. You got a nice big bubble here. Pretty cool level, and it lights up, so you can see it in the dark. All right, couple things left that are so cool. Um, so we're gonna run through these next two, and then we're gonna get to my baby. Uh, this cool little tool that's down here in the bottom, I really, really am excited to get that one out. I actually haven't opened it yet. Um, this is an adjustable wrench. It's an eight inch adjustable wrench. Everything just looks great. You know, I mean, an adjustable wrench is an adjustable wrench, but not a tough built adjustable wrench. It's smooth, it looks good, it's black. I like that it's black. This is uh, like a hard rubber. Um, same thing that you would expect. It's got the measurements here on the front, what you're used to, what you expect. It looks cool, it'll match the rest of your tools if you get some tough build stuff. And it's actually the only adjustable wrench that I own right now. Isn't that kind of crazy? I really like the pliers wrenches uh, traditionally instead of this type of adjustable wrench. But this baby right here is, it's nice. I have to say, it's very thin at the handle here. It's got a little texture to it. You can get some good grip. You guys know how important ergonomics are to me. I like it. All right, next, we'll go through these demo drivers here. This is the two set. So it's got the flathead and a number two Phillips. That's not even the one I was cutting open. That's tragic. Why do I look so orange? These are six inches long. They're demo drivers. They've got the striking caps on the back. Beautiful, beautiful striking caps. The handles are good sizes. They are comfortable. Uh, it's the rubber. It's with the normal screwdriver handles. They're not too big, not too small. Uh, on the ends here, on the Phillips, it's got a cross, so you can tell that it's the Phillips, and a slot here, so you can tell it's the slotted driver in case they're in your bag and you can't see them. 
but they've also got this shank here uh, in case you need to put a little bit of extra torque on there. It's a 5 16 flathead and a number two Phillips. I like these. Obviously, you don't want to use these on live work. These are demo drivers. They are to be beat on. They are not to do live electrical work on. I know a lot of y'all probably aren't electricians that are seeing this, but just remember that. Stay safe out there, people. And finally, I've been trying to get a hold of one of these for a while, so I'm glad it came in. Ta-da! It's their uh, 16 ounce hammer. And I'm telling you guys, I just, I like the design of this a lot. We're gonna go ahead and get this package off and I'm gonna tell you guys just why I like it so much. I really like, I really like this knife a lot. This Hawkwheel knife, just, just incredible. This is their uh, 16 ounce rip hammer. It's got a flat bottom to it, which is important. We're always hitting stuff in corners, hopefully. So it's flat, it's, you got the space up here for a nail, it's magnetic. And then on top of that, the jaw is squared off, which I like that. It looks super smooth. I like the flat so you can actually pry out staples, you can pry out whatever you need. 16 ounces is about all I need most of the time unless I need a big boy. So this is great. The handle's rubber and it feels super ergonomic. The shaft up here is very thin, but it's one solid piece, which is what I like in my hammers. You know, it feels like a feels like a solid hammer. It feels like I could swing and beat the mess out of my conduit that won't fit because I missed by a half an inch and uh, three inch rigid is just not very forgiving. So anyway, um, that's a true story. Put a piece of wood there, don't bend it. But yeah, so this is the, the hammer. It's also got a loop back here in case you need to secure it for whatever reason. I know I do sometimes when I'm working very, very high up above other people, I really like to, uh, that's a preference, not a necessity. That is everything from this box. I got another one on the way. And I got some things in this one that I can't share with you yet, but I'm excited to. They are so, so cool. So you guys subscribe so you guys get to see those when I get to make the video. It's coming out October 7th, I believe. And so I have to see if I'm able to release those couple new tools before then. Um, but they look fantastic. I like the use of them a lot. And I think they're going to be something that I'm going to carry pretty often. So I'm going to get to try them out here soon. If you guys like these, go ahead and check out the last video I did with my first set of tough built tools. It was pretty, uh, pretty eye-opening, which is why we're doing another one and gonna be doing another one here in the future. So head up to this video, watch that. And remember you guys, it's all for his glory and I'll see you guys on the next one.